Good morning, YouTubers. Hope you're all staying safe. I thought I'd uh, do the intro outside today. Um, I just hung the washing up. I uh, just want to give a shout out to Michael Swan66. Um, he uploaded a video yesterday uh, where he went beach, beach metal detecting. Um, uh, it's really funny because here in the UK, um, someone went metal detecting, I think it was at the weekend, uh, in Cleethorpes or on Cleethorpes Beach. And uh, one of the members of the public took a photo and the police were after him. That's how bad it's got. It's insane, absolutely insane. So, um, yeah, uh, if you're in the UK, it's probably wise not to go metal detecting, either on the beach or in a field. I'd love to, I really would. I'd love to go flying. I really, really would. It's just madness, it really is. Um, it's a bit of an argument about like, um, people that go cycling, I've, someone on my Facebook goes cycling and he's out three hours doing 60 miles or I can't remember what it, what it is, it was something like 60 miles or 60 kilometres probably. But I just think to myself, hang on a minute. I thought we were only supposed to do an exercise for 30 minutes or an hour or something like that. Where these people on, on bikes are going out for, you know, three hours at a time, two hours, three hours. And the other thing is, of course, and this is not really a dig at cyclists, but I just think if you go out for that sort of time, you're kind of taking the biscuit here. You're, you're playing with the rules, aren't you? Because um, if you get knocked over, knocked off your bike by a car, or crash into something, fall in a ditch, injure yourself, break your leg. You then, you put in, you know, an ambulance service. An ambulance um, has got to come collect you, take you to hospital, then you're going to be at risk in hospital. So I don't know, it's, it's a bit of a tricky one. It's like, well, yeah, get exercise, we all need to do exercise. But is it taking it too far? Is it just pushing the rules? But, there you go. I guess the trouble is if, if, you know, if I go, if I live in Cleethorpes and I went for a walk on the seafront and I saw someone metal detecting, I'm likely to go, oh, well, I'm going as well. And you go and chat to him. It's like, it's so I don't know. Just stay at home. Anyway, today, weather, cloudy, miserable, a little bit cold. Not raining yet. I've no idea what I'm going to do in my time. I might borrow Martin's uh, thingy. Um, what's that thingy called? crowbar and I might take that pallet apart and build another planter because I enjoy doing them they're good fun and they look really good so we shall see but oh just another update on the frames these frames that we're doing for care workers and the and the NHS I got a message from the group last night uh, we have a group chat that goes on just for a few minutes over 6,000 frames we have donated donated 6,000 plus that's just amazing, it really is. And there's only about 12 of us in this group. So, um, yeah, good work, really good work. Today's t-shirt is blank, because they're all on the washing line. So, right, let's find something to do. <clears throat> Before I start digging, um, there's another 25 frames ready to go. So, uh, let me show you what one of these looks like being worn. Yeah, I can't remember whether um, um, well, I should have showed you, but here's the, here's the frame, okay? These little clips here, here, and here, and here. They, uh, the acetate, the clear acetate clips on them, so it's a shield like that, yeah? And it's just worn on the head. So you've got a clear visor there. That's how it works. They're being collected uh, in about an hour. Right, I've made a decision. I'm gonna have that as a veg plot. I've decided, and I'm going to grow some spuds there. That is what I'm going to do. What do you want? Do you want a cuddle? Belly wub. Belly wub. Oh, belly wub. In a minute. Right then. Let's get digging. And of course I will time lapse this. Is this a good angle, what do you reckon? Now let me move the angle. There, that's a bit better. Right, I shall time lapse from there. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, that'll do for the minute. Tea break time. Bin men are here. Let's listen. See uh, how many neighbours are alcoholics. Listen for the glass. Oh, the next one neighbours. Alkis. How many jam jars? Oh, that's a lot of glass. Here's the other neighbour. Let's see how much of an alky is. Wait for the crash. <laughs> There's a few in there. Hey? No, that's Mark's. Here's mine, mine's next. Right, let's listen for the, the crash of glass. <laughs> That's a lot of bottles. Yours is next, yours is next. <laughs> yeah, that was it! That was it! That was a lot of glass! <laughs> we do eat jarred stuff too, you know? Well, lots of jam! <laughs> Jesus! Yeah. Crikey, that's funny! That is so funny! Listen to the neighbours uh, recycling uh, things being done. Anyway, let's show you what the progress is. It started raining, so I've had to stop. But uh, I've got here, like, sure there. So, make a progress, it's really solid ground. And here's what's interesting, look. Cyclamen bulbs. I've chopped a few in half, unfortunately, but yeah, I keep finding them, and they're going really big. So I'm gonna plant those in, in a planter or something like that. And uh, I think they flower August. I can't remember, but. I've saved some bulbs, that's good. So I'm going to have to be really careful around the area because I think there's some more. <laughs> oh, is another one. Look. All these, honestly, the whole street, they're like jam around here. So I'm going to have to be careful because I think there's more cyclamen bulbs around there. Right. Now it's stopped raining, I might be able to carry on time lapsing it. Oh, still raining, but progressing. Still keep finding loads of cyclamen bulbs, look. There's one there, I need to put that on there. I've chopped a few in half. I don't know whether they survive that or not. Find out. Oh, there's one there. Damn it. But yeah, it's raining, so I can't even time lapse. So all I can do is just show you how I'm getting on, but come over here. It's level with that fence panel there, that post. So, yeah, and I've got some spuds. Potatoes, and they are chitting, so, chitting. So I'm gonna plant those. Proper little green fingers, aren't I? When it finally stops raining, I'm gonna melt the take that, just for a laugh. It'd be funny if I found a Roma or a hammered silver coin. Although we're on, uh, the whole estate is on, on an old airfield, so I think the only thing I'm likely to find is bombs, bullets and cat budgies, which is also going to be cool. But it's got to stop raining at the minute, uh, stop raining first. So, it's looking good. A veg plot, my own veg plot. Who needs an allotment when you can just have one in your own garden? I am, the whole thing, all of this is going to be a veg plot, all of it, I've decided. I've got to find the space for these because that's full of lead. Stupid rain. <sighs> right then, leaves nothing for it. I'm going to B and Q because I've just found out B and Q are open again. Hee <laughs> hee! Let's go and get some stuff. Well, right, I've just returned back from B and Q. Amazing. The staff. Uh, right, I don't know. If you work or you know someone that works at B&Q in Lincoln, the manager or the team leader, whoever's instructed you how to interact with customers is a leader and absolutely brilliant. The staff, honestly, 
The staff at B&Q in Lincoln are absolutely amazing. So friendly, courteous, instruction, you know, they give real clear instructions on how, you know, what to do. We've got one-way scissors and all the rest of it. First class, absolute first class. Anyway, uh, when it, if it rain, if it stops raining, I'm going to show you what I've bought because I've bought some good stuff. Right, seeing as it's not going to stop raining, I'm just going to do this outside very quickly and show you what I've bought. I bought a new pot. I bought some more bioethanol because I was running low on that for hand sanitizer. Uh, the new pot is for them. I bought an aloe plant because apparently you slice them, cut it in half, and there's a really good natural moisturizer in them. I bought some, I forgot what it's called now, it's a herb, rosemary, rosemary and tomatoes. Look at these tomatoes, look. <laughs> Loads of tomatoes. Oh, yes. oh and now also, hang on. I don't know where I've put it now. I put some netting. I bought some netting to cover those p p strawberries. Did I say tomatoes? Did I call them tomatoes? <laughs> the strawberries. Look at all these strawberries, look. So, uh, yeah, I've got six strawberry plants. Okay, I've made sure they've all got good uh, flowers on the rest of it. I bought some netting to cover these over. So these are going in there. I'm gonna have potatoes in there, strawberries. Oh, I don't know what, I haven't figured out. Also, also, also. I'm gonna do some green beans. So they're in May, well, we're nearly in May. So French bean dwarfs, these will be nice. Awesome, right, I'm just gotta wait for this damn rain to stop. This is, this is so, 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 so annoying. I want to go out and dig that, but I can't because it's raining. And I want to plant those, but I can't because it's raining. So annoying. So really, I'm going to probably just end this here. Yeah, and it's cold as well. Um, <clears throat> according to my car, it's 8 degrees C out there. I'm still in a t-shirt. <laughs> Unbranded. I ought to do something with this t-shirt. It's quite an old one, but it's really comfy. So I had to here's an idea. Right, I've got an idea. Perfect. Right, it's a blank t-shirt, okay? I'm probably going to get in trouble with this. Write in the comments, all right, what you think I should have on the t-shirt, okay? It's up to you guys what I should have on the t-shirt. And I promise you, the best one, okay, I will do tomorrow. All right, write that in the comments and I will make a t-shirt with whatever you want on it. Remember, I'm going to be wearing this. If it's rude, obviously I won't be able to wear it to the shops because Tesco's, well, I don't go there anyway, but... They're like the, the security guards there are like the Gestapo. So, yeah. So anything you want goes on this t-shirt, all right? And it can be rude, but if it's gonna be rude, just put a load of asterisks and I'll sort of get the gist because if you do write a rude word in the comments, like the actual way you spell it, then the chances are it'll probably get spammed or classed as spammed. So you'll have to just, you know, but anyway, your choice, all right? Best one, all right? I will, uh, I will put it on this T-shirt. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> you druggos. Right, yeah, that's it. Um, unless anything else happens, like the rain stops, because um, at the minute, it's, it's 20 past four in the afternoon, and it's like, I could be out there until eight o'clock digging holes. Oh, I can't. Because normally what happens is, uh, it gets to about five, half past five, and then I start editing the video, and then two and a half, three hours later, it's online. Because it really does take that long to do this video. Editing it. So anyway, there you go, that's the challenge. So get writing in the comments, enjoy yourself, have fun, um, and the best one I'll pick. Right, <clears throat> let's try and find something for the bonus footage. <clears throat> oh, I've got a corona cough. Just a little thing, by the way, the, I know, I know I'm going on and on and on. Um, the bonus footage, it's all my footage, okay? It's what I film throughout, you know, when I'm 
from near Coningsby, the RF base, I'll film typhoons. If I'm near Retford or Newark, I'll film trains. Um, or if I'm in France, obviously, on holiday at Le Mans, I'll film them. So, uh, so I've got to pick some up. Anyway, stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching. See ya!